What's up, everybody? It is December 6th. That's right. Tomorrow is opening day of the muzzleloader season here in Michigan, and I am pumped because I truly believe there are two good times to really kill a nice mature buck, and that's one, the early season, and two, the late season. So you know what? We got the muzzleloader loaded up, and we're going to head to the woods because there's a buck named Goliath that we're going to go after. Well, it's opening day here of Michigan's 2018 muzzleloader season. It's December 7th, and uh, actually December 8th, about 20 years ago I shot my first deer. So I've always loved muzzleloader for that reason because I, you know, I have those memories of going up to the UP and muzzleloader hunting with my dad and uh, being able to shoot a nice mature doe in the big woods and it, it's really gotten me hooked since then. I'm on here today in my backyard on my property here. I don't know what I have coming in here. I don't have a camera. I like it to be a surprise. So we're just going to sit tight and see what happens. It's a beautiful day. It's about 25 degrees. It's cloudy. And there's a light snow going on. So we're just going to sit back and see what happens.
So on the evening of December 8th, I was talking to my buddy Zach, and we decided that we were going to go out and check out this piece of public land that I had been hunting. And it was really a new thing for me because usually I'm going out there to sit in a blind. And really on this trip, I was going out there to really do some scouting and see, you know, how the deer were using the land, where were their bed in, what they were feeding on. And we were going to go check out some trail cameras and see what we had on them. So really, if we were able to come across the deer, yeah, I was hoping Zach would get a shot at it. But really, this was mainly just a tour of the property and see how it was and see if I could learn something for the next year. It's uh, about six o'clock right now. We're headed out to the woods and public land and we're gonna chase Goliath today. Uh, I work at noon, so it's just gonna be a quick hunt. You know, we're gonna sit till about 10 o'clock. I got a west wind and then at 10 o'clock, it is a north wind, which is terrible for that stand. So we're gonna back out then and hopefully we'll have a shot at him by then. We did find out, you know, looking at more pictures, that he's been in the morning a couple times. Uh, I originally thought it was just the one time, but it turns out it's twice. So we're gonna hang out there and just see what happens and hopefully he'll come in today. I got a good feeling it's about 30, 30 degrees. And we're gonna sit still. Those does sure were tempting me. I tell you what, I almost thought about pulling the trigger on one of them, but I just ultimately couldn't do it. Knowing that Big G was still around, I had to let him go. It's just after 9 o'clock. It's actually 9.25 and we had two does and a fawn come in at about 9.01 this morning. They hung out for about 15-20 minutes and then, you know, they were a little on edge but not much. But they, uh, they ended up bolting off. I don't think it was me. The wind's not supposed to shift till 10, 10 a.m. So looking at my breath right now and I can see that it's still going you know to the uh, the west so we're just gonna have to keep an eye on that because once it's 10 o'clock we're gonna get out of here I don't want to spook anything especially with them in here you know it's it's real important in the late season to watch the wind I mean it's important anytime but these deer have really been pressured and uh, you just want to make sure that you got all your bases covered because if you get winded right now, I'm telling you what, it's going to make shooting that big boy a heck of a lot harder. We're back on the public land today. It's the 13th of December. 
this is only the seventh time that I've hunted this area this year. And uh, the reasons for that is, it's plain and simple. These big boys don't put up with pressure at all. We got just a couple more days left in the muzzleloader season. The sun just popped out, and that's a good thing, because it's been uh, pretty slow, and I found out usually in the later seasons. Just because it's cold doesn't mean that it's going to be really good hunting. I've found a lot of times when it is cold, that as soon as it warms up a little bit, that's when the deer start moving. So hopefully they'll start moving soon, because it has been slow. I, I'm really kind of surprised I haven't seen it. Just uh, finished up her morning hunt. I think that's the first time I've been skunked out here. It's uh, disappointing, that's for sure. But uh, you know, here's the afternoon hunt. We'll give her, give her hell then. See what happens. Uh, check the camera, and uh, Goliath is not on there. I'm disappointed, but uh, I still, for some reason, I think he's still alive. Um, I just got that gut feeling and uh, if he is I'm gonna go after him it's been uh, a long season so far but I've had him on there a majority of it I picked him up in October mid-October and uh, I've just kind of kept an eye on him I was real nervous going up to the UP thinking hey this deer is probably dead when I get back and I hung my camera back out. I actually took it off because I didn't want it to get stolen. And uh, I hung it back up and I had it out five days and I didn't have him on there. So I was discouraging. And then I decided I was gonna leave the area alone and I came back and checked it. And uh, December 1st, he was alive, he's on camera. That's the last picture I have of him, it was daylight. And uh, like I said, there's only one other guy back here that I know of that I can see tire tracks, blueprints, or anything. And they could be coming from, you know, private or way off a different road, but I just got my doubts. I did pick up some new deer on camera, and all three are going to be studs next year. I'm, I'm not going to shoot them, but if they make it, 
I know where I'll be next year. And uh, hopefully I'll get a shot at Goliath this year. If not, hopefully he'll come back next year. We'll get a shot at him too. Looks like my 2018 muscle loader season is slowly winding down to an end. I didn't see as many deer as I was hoping to see, but uh, you know, I, I had some nice ones on camera that are going to make it through. I'm, I'm going to bet that they'll make it through for next year, and hopefully we'll get a shot at them then. I would really like to check out this public land a lot more and kind of see what it's about. Because I think there's a lot to offer here. You know, I'm a firm believer that there's really two good times to get a buck of an older age class and that's one the early season and two the late season. You know, I know people are going to argue with me and they're going to say the rut, the rut, the rut. I don't really care for the rut. I'll hunt it, but you know, it can be hot, it can be cold. Um, you know, your target buck could be miles away. Some other guy could have shot it by now. I don't like the unpredictability part of it. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Like I said, I'm a firm believer that one, the early season, and two, the late season. Uh, I really, really struggled this late season getting on deer. Uh, and I think that was mainly because, you know, I was hunting a piece of private ground and I wasn't checking out this public. Uh, this public land was new to me and I was at a disadvantage because of that. You know, I, I did see some nice does. I had an opportunity at them, but when it all boiled down to it, I really wanted a shot at Goliath and I just knew that I had to wait and wait and wait for that opportunity to arrive. And all I could do was hope that it would. And like I said, I was at a major disadvantage. And knowing that I struck out during muzzleloader season didn't sit well with me. 
But I also knew that I had an opportunity coming with me on the late season of bow hunting. Well, got our doe tag. Let's go kill us a doe. It's December 17th and we're headed down to my good buddy Mike's place. We're gonna hunt on one of his leases tonight. The muzzleloader season is still active there, so we're taking the, the muzzleloader with us, and hopefully we'll be able to get the job done tonight. I think they're getting ran pretty good. I think that's what was happening over there too. Nice big toe in the back. Yep. If you want to shoot her, you can. Those are all mature does. We'll wait a while. Oh no, there's a button buck there. Is there? She's looking hard. When Big Mike sent me the text to come on down and hunt one of his farms, I, I just couldn't say no. You know, it was it was an opportunity that I had to take, and uh, I made the drive down there with every intention of harvesting a doe. However, when it boiled down to it, I didn't end up doing it. You know, Mike showed me a couple trail camera photos of a Big Ten, and he said that he was walking around in on daylight, and I really wanted to get a good look at him and see what he looked like in person. Unfortunately, the Big Ten had other plans. So I ended up missing an opportunity at him and I missed an opportunity at shooting a nice doe. But you know what? We still had fun and I had a really good time overall with Mike and that's what hunting's all about.